Hello everybody and welcome for a look around the cockpit and interior of this Falcon boat. So uh, we're going to have a quick look around just to give you an idea of her layout, her arrangements, etc. What's fitted and if she might be a space you'd like to occupy. So as you can see, I'm looking towards the stern here. So we're starting at the top. We're under this lovely great big... Uh, a cockpit enclosure so it's really really tall here plenty of room for even the tallest people in here we've got windows all the way around we can roll up the port or the starboard side or both or the stern and uh, indeed the windows carrying all the way around the front so great view all the way around 360 from this cockpit so brilliant for wining and dining relaxing great view but also great for keeping a watch out at sea those uh that rule five of those coal regs so uh, really nice and we can wind these up whichever way we would like and I think we can do the, the front ones as well to allow light and air through if we would like. Super job. So we enter the boat. We can enter via the port or the starboard side, but a bit easier from the stern. So there's a, a companionway ladder here. We climb up and over the back and we're in. We're immediately faced with C-shaped seating. Now all of these lift up and there are big lockers underneath as well, probably for predominantly for your toolkits and your uh, cleaning stuff, etc., etc. And all the way around the boat, there are cubby holes like these, which represent even more storage as well. So you can get an idea by looking inside there. We have 240 volts on the boat too, so uh, plenty of uh, double sockets all over the place. The electrical isolator there on the left-hand side there. And if we just uh, remove this locker and the cockpit table, we can look under here and we've got the single BMW engine underneath there, battery and a few more bits and pieces. So uh, reasonably easy to get at too. Very good. If I just move our way back to, in fact, before I move, let's just look at what else we've got here. We can see that we've got uh, handrails here, here and here. So uh, if we're traversing through here, down the side deck to the fore deck we've got something to hang on to then possibly as well to the uh, cockpit uh, tent stanchions uh, before we transfer to the guardrail which is out there um so uh, it's sitting aside also we've got something to hang on to as well which i really like and it's been well thought about so if i just move to the stern and look towards the uh, forward end of the cockpit starting from the bottom this time nice wide companion way to get to the helm seat and down below we've got uh, nice windows here for the aft cabin section uh, openers which let let uh, light and air in as well we've got uh, nice little uh, holders here for our bits and pieces that we always have and uh, port and starboard stereo speakers the stereos down below and even another little cubby hole under here for your bits and pieces very nice really love the companionway on this boat it's very very wide and most manufacturers would probably elect to stop it there but this goes wide so very nice and easy to get down and it kind of does a good job of bringing the inside out or the outside in a bit like connecting your garden with a conservatory so it feels like uh, we're not so separate which I like. Moving forwards then, we've got this uh, helm seat here. Now, as you can see, seating for two. Kind of, we're, we're into antique stuff on this boat, so you might want to you might want to leave her as she is, actually, because I think there's plenty of years left in that, or you could perhaps have a little refurb on it, but that may be up to you. This does tilt down, if I can just find the catch with one hand. There we go. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. That does tilt down, and that gives us uh, rearward seating. So when we're alongside, we shut down for the day, and we're just recuperating with a nice G&T and a slice of cucumber. That's how we do it all good so i'll just put that back in place so i'm doing it one-handed actually so that just shows how easy it is to do which is great he says <laughs> as he singularly fails to do it and uh, anyway moving forward we've done it now we can see we've got the the helm seat here we've got the throttle here and then incidentally this boat has had a recent uh, throttle linkage done we've got to bow uh we've got to bow up and down control there we've got the echo sound with a wheel uh fuel tank contents uh engine gauges an old garmin unit and uh We've got uh, the boat speedo here, I think, and the engine start, stop, and warning section, as well as some electrical bits and pieces behind here. And on top, you can see we've got a hummingbird and a lower section just sitting next to the compass. All really good. Pretty much everything you'd expect to find. And if it all works, I think this is probably enough to navigate your boat safely and monitor the engine, etc. Would be up to you to decide. But obviously, if you wanted to update and put some really nice modern stuff on, you could as well. And I'll just notice we've got a nice handle here as well to hold on to and a bit more stowage down here for your magazines your uh, chart publications etc etc all good and as i mentioned look at that view forwards look at the view sideways and he's seen the view to the stern really good for watch keeping at sea love it very important okay let's go down below and have a look then so down the companionway so we have one 
two, three, four steps down, really nice and easy. And when we get down here, we come first on the port side, we come to the galley unit. So again, one fingered, here we go. Hey presto, here's the cooker. So two burners and a grill by the looks of it. When we finished, away it goes. Just make sure it's cool before you put it away. We've got a drawer cupboard here, cupboard at the back as well. And underneath here, if we just lift this work surface, there's your little sink. How cool is that? All nestled in this kind of L-shaped unit by the uh, companionway. So that's really useful because we can pass uh, the dirties backwards and forwards to the sink no problem but of course when this is down this is uh, kind of in the way of the companion where you can get past but you have to take extreme care if cooking is going on at the time but really easy to pass the cooked stuff up to the cockpit no worries at all looking down you can see we've got a carpeted finish and uh, we've got a little step up there to the forward section and uh, in the forward section we've got uh, u-shaped seating so a couple of people here a couple here and one or two on here and uh, yeah really nice plenty of room down here if you're sitting down but of course the coach we've just raked down here so it uh, starts from about 5 10 at the back and uh, just generally comes down as you see but you would you would generally be sitting or sleeping in this area and this does make into a double so we've got a re uh, an infill here which sits under here there's a water tank under there and we have a, a, an infill cushion here so lovely great big double for the weekend for friends and family etc we've got a nice uh, uh fiddled shelf all the way around the edge we have more storage underneath here port and starboard for your life jackets that kind of thing and here's a view from the forward end of the boat looking aft so we've got uh, stereo speakers down here the stereo is in set up here uh, just to the forward of the stereo up in this area we've got the clock and uh, barometer and we've got the Aberspacker control so we've got the thermostat there and we've got a nice Aberspacker at the back of your blown air unit which will blow out air through fitting such as this to keep you nice and warm how very nice then on the uh, right at the end on the after bulkhead we have an extinguisher which probably would need replacing by now and uh, a dsc stereo sitting there i think it's dsc looking from here uh, so uh, i said stereo i meant radio apologies everybody here we've got a, a, a long garments wardrobe and in here we've got a big door which opens up to the head so where you're sitting on the head looking to the uh, port side uh, we've got access here to the uh, the wiring at the back of the steering uh, section or the helm steering section really good to have nice to see an opening window um, plenty of shelves there's shelves and cubby holes all over this boat it's really good big sink unit here with lots of uh, space here for your toothbrush and all that kind of stuff and a manual head as i mentioned there really nice plenty of uh, room in there good headroom does what it says on the tin and then to finish off we've got the uh, aft cabin not quite a cabin because it's not enclosed here with a door but i'll refer to it, to it as the aft cabin and as you can see we've got room here for two now obviously the headroom is limited it doesn't look like much here but it does open up as, as we go past it so actually for a cabin like this pretty good and i think both people can probably sit up there and read certainly the one closest to the window should be able to as well looks like we've got uh, decent mattresses here as well padded out at the back there and uh, there's the extent to which it goes over to the port side so a thwart chips and probably almost the uh, entire beam or thwart chips uh, distance across the boat really good and out of the way although of course you do have the crawl through from the aperture as we do on most boats of this type to get in there so this has been tim from boats rock brokers just taking you for a quick tour of the interior of this lovely falcon power boat if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find many more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching